Welcome to our review on the precipitation reactions. So first thing we need to understand then is when we get a precipitation reaction occurring. Now we'll get a precipitation reaction when we mix two solutions and they form an insoluble solid. And that insoluble solid is called the precipitate. Remember insoluble means it doesn't dissolve. What we'll actually find then is that the precipitate we make will be different colours depending on the metal ions that are present to make it. So the way that we actually carry out one of these precipitation reactions is that we start off with about two centimetres cubed of our sodium hydroxide solution and then we're going to add that to our unknown solution. Once we do that we'll see this solid precipitate forming in the tube and just by looking at the colour of the precipitate we can work out which metal ion was present in our unknown solution. And again, well, there are three colours that we have to remember for our exam. Copper, which is a blue colour precipitate, our iron 2, which is a grey-green colour precipitate, and the iron 3, which is an orangey-brown precipitate. So you've got to remember those three colours again, so make sure that you do sit and learn them. You might be asked to write a balanced symbol equation for the reaction here. So I've given you the example of copper reacting with our sodium hydroxide. So the metal ion we've got is Cu2+, and then that's going to react with two hydroxide ions, which are OH-. They then form CuOH2. Do notice how we write that with the OH in brackets and the little two after, and that tells us that we've got one copper, the Cu, but two of the oxygen and two of the hydrogen. So just remember how we actually write those correctly with the brackets to symbolize that there's two of everything inside there.